I'll be showing you how pattern grading is done in Adobe Illustrator. What we have in front of us now is a close fitting torso block which was originally drafted in size 12 and I just graded it to size 16 and from 12 down to size 6. So I want to show you how I did it because originally this was drafted in size 12 so let's grade it to size 14. Okay. What we need to do is go to Illustrator and check on your preference. If you are working on uh, millimeters, just make sure that your general settings for the keyboard increment is set at one millimeter and your unit of measure is also millimeter. Okay, I will be referring to Winifred Aldrich book in pattern making and uh, if you are used to grading using a different uh, unit of measure or if you are using a different book or from a different author just feel free to use and refer to to those books okay let's click and agree click on okay because we are going to first grade the back we make sure to duplicate and rename this size 14 okay we lock block we now lock back size 12 and we make sure that we are on back size 14 okay i also want to show you how x and y axis are in adobe illustrator okay so back when we were still in school and in the university, X is the horizontal line and vertical line uh, is for Y axis. In Illustrator, the moment you go up Y axis, you have to put negative. Back in the university and the school, when you go down Y axis, that is the negative. Okay, just make sure and just remember that once you go up, just type in negative. Okay, so I'll just hide it for now. And let, let's now start grading from size 12 to 14. See, let me zoom in now. The numbers right here are my guides and these are taken from Winifred Aldrich book of pattern making okay I didn't you know make these numbers up you will have a different number depending on which author or which book you're using okay but this tutorial is just to show you how it's done in Adobe Illustrator let's get started in grading click on direct selection tool or on your keyboard press a highlight the anchor point because we are now on the center back we move up by four millimeters so we just need to right click click on transform and move and because we're moving up by four by four um, millimeter up we need to Put negative 4 okay see click on preview if you want to see how it looks like okay if you're happy with it if you feel it is correct then click on okay okay next is at the high point shoulder we move up and two millimeters to the right right click transform move so we place negative four up and to the right we just put two click on preview see how it looks like does it look right yes it is so let's click okay so how about if we are moving the darts this is how it's done you need to 
highlight the anchor point and place the measurement like for the vertical I need negative 3.5 and for the horizontal I need 3 millimeters to the right that is positive number okay next for the shoulder is 3 mm up that is negative 3 in Adobe Illustrator and horizontal excuse me that's gonna be 4.5 click on OK let's now move to the arm side arm side grading says 2 millimeters up okay and 5 millimeters to the right click on OK Next, for the underarm, this right here, to the waist. Select the anchor points, making sure that you highlight the underarm and the waist, okay? Right click, transform and move. It says 8.5 to the right. Vertical should be zero, okay? This is before and this is after. Okay. And next, we move to the hip area. Use the direct selection tool. Right click transform move and use 10 mm measurement. Okay. So we are almost done for the back. What is left is the fish eye dart. So again, because we are still in the direct selection tool, make sure that you highlight make sure that you highlight the entire fish dart, okay? This is how it's done. Transform move. And it says 2.5 to the right. 2.5 before and after. See how it looks like? Then click on OK. Let me zoom out now. And uh, oops, what did I do? <laughs> Let me zoom out now and show you. This is size. Um, this is size 14 and this is size 12. Okay. Let us now proceed to the front. Let me just lock this uh, back, size 14. And now we can start grading the front. Okay. First thing to do is make sure that we duplicate the front. And we should rename this size 14. Okay. Size 12 is now locked and we are now working on size 14. Okay. Let us bring out our guide for the front. Okay. Let us first start with the center front and using the direct selection tool or press A on your keyboard, highlight the center front anchor point, right click, transform and move. It says 2 mm up. Again, going up on Adobe Illustrator, we need to put negative amount. Okay, this is before, this is after. Before, after. Okay. Next, the high point shoulder, which is close to center front, we need to measure 4 mm and 2 mm to the left. 
highlight right click transform move negative 4 and negative 2 this time okay for the high point shoulder again highlight See, it's almost repetitive. The only thing that changes are all these numbers that were taken from the from the book or from the from the author. So this will be eight mm. Okay. Next for the shoulder is negative three and negative eleven. For the arm side, negative 1 and negative 8. I'm just doing this quickly, guys. Negative 8. Okay. And see how beautiful the armhole is. For the underarm to waist, again, we are on direct selection tool. Highlight only those, okay? There's no need to highlight until the hips because it has a different measurement. So right click, transform, move, 11, negative 11.5 because we're going to the left. And this is zero. Okay. If you notice, it only moves the anchor point at the underarm and the waist. If I... If we look at the hips, it has still remained at the same anchor point. So now let's do the hips. Right click, transform, move. And let's put negative 10. Okay. What <laughs> we are left now is the apex and the fish eye dart. Okay. So how we do it is we highlight the fish eye dart and only the apex anchor, anchor point okay and then right click transform move and it says move it 4.5 millimeter to the left which is negative before and after this is how the movement is gonna be for the darts okay and we click OK and this is done. Our grading is done from size 12 to size 14. So let's just take out the back size 12 and size 14 and see how it looks like. Okay. And this is how you do the pattern grading in Adobe Illustrator. If you find my tutorials helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And if you have tried preparing the grading on Illustrator, let me know how you find it. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.